Uh, good afternoon, Prof, and thank you very much for your time. How are you doing today? Okay, okay. Always in the passion of football. It's my, not my entertainment, it's my life. It's your life, yes. Uh, Prof, uh, if you can just so, tell us a bit about the uh, Agostopolisius Apprentice Academy so that we understand in terms of the divisions that you have, uh, the philosophy of the academy and what you are trying to achieve here. Yes, yeah, this academy founding in 2005. This is when many players from Augusto Palace Spain Academy go to Orlando Pirates and different clubs. Our main objective is to develop and play from the earlier age, from the five year boys and girls. We practice every Monday and Thursday, four o'clock and Saturday, nine o'clock. We had our new venue now when we stand now in Johannesburg Secondary School. We're here from November uh, last year. And our main philosophy, as people know, is to play, you know, the ball in the ground, you know, to be attracting the technical aspect, you know, to move you forward, the mobility, you know, to scoring, and the more important, you know, to know your role in the position. But the philosophy is, I believe, that we, we happen together with Orlando Pina for a long time, who I work in there. But the more important for us is to improve the play in the technical aspect, because he, he had the basic or technical aspect that it be easy for him to play the game. And we're happy, you know, to have players from different parts of South Africa. We give welcome to everyone. And he, he wants to communicate more about the information. We can call Ricardo to 082 9777 or we can go to our email, you know, Apprentice Academy at Nwedaxi or Daxi 8. But we open, we open for everyone. You know, life foster start here for the eight or twelve year. Taviso Munjani also the twins in Miso and Simo Bopela and the Marisha who is now in the United States. You know, in more and more player Copano, the goalkeeper, you know, general Wallone to uh, Robert in National First Division. We have several players, several players and and we continue. We continue, you know, to the development of the young players who had the ambition to play, you know, local and overseas. One of our, our key players, one pass our obvious life foster now in Manchester, in England, and obvious Taviso who play in the 15 of Pirates. And we continue doing. We had very good players in the moment, very early age, and we continue to encourage the players and the parents to continue to bring here, and it's our responsibility. Uh, Prof, right behind us, there's kids, I think they look like four or five years old. They're playing in a smaller pitch. They are using smaller balls. Uh, if you can just explain us with that, so that we can understand these basics and uh, how important in development to do such things. Because, you know, you go some areas, you find seven-year-olds, eight-year-olds kicking the bigger ball. But we see here uh, kids are using the smaller size ball. Can you just help us understand uh, what 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 is the, what does it mean in terms of de developing these young kids? Yeah, very good question. We we call it the stage of development. The stage of development is according to age. The player, for example, for five years to nine years, ten using the size three, three ball, and then the player from under twelve to under thirty using size four, and the player from under fourteen up use size five. Sometimes the the, the the smaller using sometimes size one is because the the size of the ball and the body aspect, he can't take in the bigger ball because he will not control. This we call it the foundation, the foundation of football when he starts the boy to understand what is the technical aspect. In this age, normally what you do is the basic, passing the ball, receiving of the ball, the movement. You can't put pressure in this age. You, you teach the basic aspect and the boy must enjoy. You can't put in another thing where we have here, our priority is no winning games. Our priority is to develop it. And, and then we need to correct this because winning is part of the game. But we not force our team to winning game. We need to perform. This is the reason we analyze every week our player and what level arrive and what is the weakness and strength and what you need to change. Sometimes all we are parents is a little bit impatient with thinking the boy is going to be the superstar in, in earlier age, but this is not the case. The case is for us, you not know, to like anyone, you need to be patient, 
and the more important is to develop and play in all aspects. We start first with the basic, with technical aspect, who we teach in also discipline, you know, what is to value the friendship of the player he training together. And then we go in now to, to another basic, who is to uh, 12 years, 13 years, and then we go to intermed, who is 14 years, 15 years, and we go to advanced, who is 16 and 17 years. This is the stage of development, development really end to 17 years. And then after coming now, the amateur, the professional level. Uh, prof, t talking about that, at what age group do you, do you start to introduce group tactics uh, in terms of now boys understanding systems and how the movement in a particular system, understanding a position, what is expected when it's, for example, like being a right wing back in terms of going forward and defending. At what age do you introduce such? I think from 12 or 13 years, you start teaching the basics. Remember, in South Africa, we had one problem there because in 12 years, you need to play around nine against nine in a small field, half of the field. But majority of the league here players in full field who has very negative aspect. I mean, for 12, 13 years, you teach the basic, the stationary. You can't tell the player in 12, 13 years pressing or overlapping because remember, if the player going 55 up and 55 back, now you took already 110 meters. I mean, the basic aspect to him to understand what is the function and role in the position. And then now for 14 years, you start pushing now. You start pushing about the shifting, the cover, you know, etc., etc. But we need to understand a stage of development is very important to understand. You can't force the player 12 years to start doing condition or physical condition. You understand? It's, it's very difficult, very difficult. But I believe some of the coaches like to say pressing, uh, push up, sit up, or running laps. I don't think in football we can arrive to this uh, age when the player is still the foundation and no have muscles. Now, where you want to go up? The player the nine, ten years. Now people are running the player. I think it's very important to follow courses, you know, to have a D license, C license from SAFA. Or, or guiding himself because development player is easy but complicated when he don't have the knowledge what is about the stage of development. Uh, Prof, in terms of development, uh, in your own assessment, how would you assess football development in, in South Africa? Where do you think we are? Perhaps in a scale of 1 to 10, where are we and what do we need to do to improve? I think we, we reverse a little bit because I remember 22, 23, 24, you know, we have players who come in from development to graduate to the first team. Now in the moment, it not happen like this. It not happen like this because we can see, we can see, for example, uh, clubs in all the before when two or three players play a regular in the first team. You, you not have this team, majority pie, and sometimes you incorporate one player. I still believe uh, not to blame anyone. We still the long way to talking about development because when you had a policies to say, for example, uh, you have juniors and you have amateur. Now you have a K the MDC. How many players for MDC you will graduate every year? Three or four? And then you must do it. You must do it. But because sometimes we're looking what game is sweet for the player to play. No, the dive is too high. He can't play. We, we never happy with me. You understand? Remember, the Pirates is the only club I think in the world who play seven players for the development in the Davi. In, in, in what the goalkeeper Ralevi, you have Benny Villacasi, you have Soli Mate, you have Kelebo Gile Mabe, you have the late Aguilar Emi, you have Jose Macaña, you have uh, Lebohan, Mukene Aguilar Emi, and Pomoso Manense and Leslie. You mean it? The same player that we developed, it was in the first team. Gradually, arrive one by one. But in the day, the objective to have graduate player from the development to the first team, it was 100%. Uh, prof, uh, like you say, we, in our country, especially in our elite league, uh, the DSTV Premiership, uh, it's, it's not common to see players like 16, 17 year olds 
playing regularly or getting you know, sort of game time. We saw it, I think that's why most of us celebrated when Seabonga Mapena uh, made his debut for Memorial Sundown at 16. Uh, and we find that most of those uh, players at that age, especially here in Gauteng, the, the elite ones are playing in the GTL. Uh, maybe somehow in the regional leagues. And again, there you find in the regional leagues that the younger ones start the game, then they get substituted to bring in older players because the, the younger ones are just brought in to meet the requirement. They say you must have five under 21s. Also happens in the in the APC Montepe League with the under 23 rule. Uh, looking around those areas, where do, we th where do you think we are going wrong and how can we correct it? We play in the National League. Uh, we top also play in the Academy. We play in the, in the Soviet uh, League. And, the, and then the thing is, I play a player who have 15, 16, 17 years. Because uh, the problem is, sometimes you believe more in senior player than young player. And this is where coming. When you want to get a confidence with a young player, to have gain time to introduce him. You can play at 20 minutes, 30 minutes gradually, 45 minutes until the full game. But here, sometimes we choose the game. You know, when we say you play it, to say a small teams, and then you play it then. But when coming, for example, to the high teams, where maybe is you talking high, you're talking about team who was in the top, and then it's scared to play the player. And my question, you mentioned something very important, Mavena did very well in, in AFCON and the 70, no matter we lost. No, but until when we're going to say no, not only him, the rest, let's introduce the player what we believe he had a level. But sometimes I say we are scared. And we had the talent, it's no doubt that South Africa had the talent. And this is something who is the truth. But it depends on the club policy and depend the club what he believes in young players or not. Uh, Prof, you, you've coached at the, elite, at the elite level in South Africa and you know the pressures of a coach, especially in the big, big clubs. Uh, how difficult is it to introduce these young players, no matter how talented they are? Uh, a packed uh, Orlando Stadium, a packed FNB Stadium is a daunting task for, for any young player, no matter what the talent is. As a coach, how difficult is it for you to give these young players an opportunity there and also make sure that they are not overrode by the occasion and end up killing their confidence. No, you not push the player one for all. I say to you, the, the coach, the, the head coach and the coach for the development need to have a very good relationship and to monitor from there. And you invite the player to train it, you know, to train it. And then the, 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 the time of the year, you invite him but he play for the MDC or he can play for the junior. But you invite him to have the confidence. He play a friendly game. And then the following season, the boy already had the confidence and you graduate. Because if you graduate, it's because you observe the boy had the talent. You cannot graduate somebody who no had the talent. But I graduate to sitting in the bench or I graduate to give the opportunity to him. If you give the opportunity, the confidence, then make will make. Uh, coach. Talking about the, the, the big teams and the pressures in those, in those teams, uh, in the past few years, uh, we've seen the, the Soweto Giants not doing so well, uh, with the last season being the exception, with the Paris doing the double. Uh, where do you think the, the big two have perhaps slightly gone, ro uh, gone wrong and what do they need to do? And what is the impact of these teams not doing well to South African football? I don't want to touch particular clubs, you know, because it's not fair you know, to, to criticize our colleagues. But what I say is, you must do in what you believe. It's different to coach development and to coach the senior team, completely different. It's different to coach Kaimo Sepe, to coach PSL. I mean, it, we need to learn him. We need to have advisor, or we are not interfering. But I believe it's the process. If you made a mistake, analyze why you made a mistake, where you need to correct. But in football, you need to have time. You can have two hours, three hours. You need to have time. You analyze your team. You analyze the opening. You analyze your weakness, your strength, where you need to improve. And this is football. Remember when Pepe Guardiola took Manchester City, never champion the first year. He was thinking they going to be the same in Germany, but the second year different. The same that caused the Liverpool. I mean, in the process, you observe, you analyze, you demonstrate, you correct, you improve it. And this is football. This is football. You need to correct and improve it. And improve it.
Mm. We check the wind and say you strength. That's all. Uh, last one, Prof. I can't go uh, without talking about uh, your boy, Lyle Foster. You must be very, very proud of what the young man has achieved. No, obvious. No one I believe that he go to the Premier League. I remember he started in Monaco. You know, I remember when Lyle had 15 years and I was in Orlando Pirates. I took him to play a friendly game against the first team, you know, with the, with the juniors and also all the players, like the Tavis or the Twins. And then happy for him because from Monaco went to Victoria, Victoria learning to in Belgium. Now Belgium could uh, sign him, what a look, and then now it's in the play. Very happy. Now we need to work in hard. He need to be confident what he is. And then he will success. He's a hard worker and, and let us support him what is possible. Coach, uh, thank you very much for your time. Really appreciate it. And uh, we, we, we applaud you on the good work that you are doing here with the, with the young boys. Uh, please keep it up and keep on uh, teaching because I see there's a lot of coaches around there. So the knowledge is being passed through to, to the younger coaches. Yeah, yes, yeah, coach, majority from the township. We had the opportunity, some coaches voluntary, some coaches had to learn it. We had always our technical meeting in the week, you know, to correct and then welcome, you know, coaches who had the passion and the enthusiasm because you need to have the passion. You don't have the passion, you can coach. And the academy is open for anyone. Thank you for the opportunity you give to me and, and always available anytime when you want to talk football development. Thank you, Prof.